it's Yolanda Monica and I wanted to welcome you to my channel. So I wanted to share with you my subscriptions. I have two subscription boxes and one seasonal box and I wanted to share with you what I got and we can just go over the boxes together. I will make the statement I have no clue why I always get my boxes late. So without further ado we're going to cover my Etsy, my Sephora, and my Walmart box. So let's get started. First I want to share with you Etsy. Etsy actually arrived first. And so, I have looked at everything, and I have an opinion about everything, but um, first thing is they actually started putting this in, which is amazing because before they didn't actually put anything in there since I came back to Etsy telling you what the products are, you have to log into the website. So I really like having this here, but I get why they didn't do it before. So here's the bag. To me, it feels and looks smaller than last month's bag. And I'm trying, I know it keeps going in and out of color. I'm trying to work on that. But it's cute. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's straight up cute, but it's small. So inside of it, the first thing I pull out is the Bella in Argent. And this is Lip Lure. This is a lip gloss. And it's so funny, it's on my profile. I actually have no lip gloss checked. And when I contacted them from last month, where I, didn't, I got a bunch of things that were on my no list, they said that your quiz is a suggestion. It is not a guarantee that you won't get anything on your no list. It's just to let them know what overall people do and don't like. So I was like, then what is the point of the, box, the quiz if you're going to still give me stuff that I said I don't want? I haven't figured that out. But this is kind of cute. It's... Um, the packaging is adorable. If it was a lipstick, I'd be like over the moon. But it's a lip gloss. It has, it's clear and it has pink, I think it's pink iridescent shimmers. So I'm not going to swatch it because I'm not going to seriously use this. Uh, I might give it to my mom. But it's, it's cute. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm a package girl. I'm putting it back in the box. But yeah, this is really cute. It's just not what I wanted. The next thing is an eyeshadow. This is Ella Eaton London. And I'm going to have to see what this thing says. So this is a burgundy crimson eyeshadow. and it, All right. But this is a burgundy. I'm not going to open this because I actually have three shadows that look exactly like this. So I'm actually going to end up giving this one away. The next thing is an Ico eyeliner. I feel like you can never have enough black eyeliners. I'm glad I got this. Let me see if I can open this one up. So it has a felt tip like marker like line. And oh, that was really smooth and a nice thin line. Definitely glad I got this. Keeping this. So far, I have two no's and one yes. This is from Clinique. It's Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. I feel like this would be something that I could definitely use. If I gave it away to my mom, I feel like she would like it too. Only because I think I have two other cleansing bombs, but we'll see. I love the packaging. It's a beautiful purple glass. Looks like you got a decent amount in there. Let's see if it's filled all the way. Yep, filled all the way. It's a nice, soft, creamy, whipped petroleum-like feel. So definitely liking this. So got two yeses, two no's. The last thing will determine. <laughs> and that is, oh, Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Cover Foundation. So let's see. It has a protective film on it. Let me put this on my hand. It's actually pretty dang close to my skin tone. Like the light may not show it, but it has a slight reddish tint. But other than that, it's a freaking good match to my skin tone, and the shade is Deep Honey. I have been wanting to try this brand, but I didn't want to buy a big one and then return it, because every brand of foundation that I've been purchasing, I've had to return it because it's like slightly off, because it oxidizes on me. So I'm glad I can try that without purchasing it, and then I'll know. So for this Epsi, I actually am... I feel like I got... Let's just go on and say the, the bomb is a yes. Two yes, two no's, and three yes. And I do love the little little thing that they gave you, the pamphlet. And it looks like they showed you the other options that you could have gotten if you um, 
on your list. Like you could have gotten a Glam Glow, uh, mascara, some IGK, and um, Honey Smoothing Moisturizer. So I'll show it to you. So that's the thing on the Glam Glow. It looks like they're showing. I honestly think that they're showing you the other things that you could have gotten. And then either that or it's they're showing you what you could have gotten with the the bigger box, the deluxe. But other than that, I actually I'm I'm okay with this bag. It didn't blow me away. I wasn't as mad as I was last month, but this one is okay with me. So let's check out Sephora. So Sephora is ten dollars a month, just like Epsi. Again, I get mine late compared to everybody else. Haven't figured out why. You always get the little pamphlet with it, and they come in a plastic bag now. Which, if you know what you do with your plastic bag, let me know because I have three of them because I haven't figured out what to do with them, and I I guess I'm gonna end up recycling them, but. I have no clue what I'm going to do with this bag. I love that they always give you the little pamphlet and you get a $50. But I order online so I feel like I can never really use this. And the thing is Beauty Scope. Oh, that's cute. They have all the different signs. Um, I'll read mine later. Oh, don't want to look at that. But here's what it looks like. That's cute. So, first thing I pull out... So good jeans like the acid treatment I've actually used Sunday Riley good jeans I liked it I actually started using the ordinary as a less expensive version of the good jeans but I really do like that but I'm looking at this and this is how much it's slight it's basically half half of this container has the good jeans I feel like they should have given you a deluxe sample to really experience it because it's a nice small sample <laughs> The next thing out of the bag is a Marco, is it Marajo, 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 um, looks like shampoo and conditioner because this is after cleansing with shampoo, add conditioner, massage hair to lather, so it's a shampoo and conditioner. I just have to tell you guys, this is a freaking small sample for shampoo. This is a freaking small sample for conditioner. I have naturally curly thick hair. If you have even shorter length or longer hair you're not able to use this in your hair this is not enough to to do it um so i feel like they should have given you two samples but at least i get to try something i feel like it'll be a tease on my hair the next thing is from the drunk elephant is la la retro wet cream especially during the winter this is amazing i actually have three of these so really love the drunk elephant really great brand i think that everyone will love this one is belief aqua bomb sleep mask so i've tried several of the belief products this is the first time i've ever tried a sleep mask so i'll definitely have to read up on it apply a quarter amount on a thin layer across your face leave on overnight i don't know about that leave on overnight because i mean when i sleep i go from sleeping on my back to sleeping on my face so i kind of feel like that would defeat the purpose of the sleep mask we will try and see but Belief is a really good brand. Um, feels like I got two left. The next is the Bite. I love Bite Beauty. Love their lipsticks. Um, let me look at this one. So this one is Matte Cream, Lip Crayon, and Glace. And this is a, it's a Dusty Mauve. So let me swap this. I don't know if my light shows you. Yeah, it is definitely a Dusty Mauve. I could definitely try this or use a lip liner to kind of boost it, give it some mm, but Love Bite Beauty and I love their lips and it's matte. It's matte. FCD here, it's matte. <laughs> Last thing is the Beauty Blender Cleaning Soap. Well, I have a bunch of Beauty Blender dupes that I need to clean. So this would be a great way of checking this out to see if it cleans. I just wish they would have kind of like added like a Beauty Blender with it. But I do, I did get a mini in like last year's box. Um, so, mm, I mean, it's nice. I just, I don't know. I'm on the fence on this. I'm on the fence on this. But overall, I really like this. I, I love the Sunday Rally. I just, it's like, I like it. I just wish they would have bumped up the size. How does that? I bumped up the size on this. Really love the Bite Beauty. 
love this the sleep mask i guess it's the perfect size since i've never tried it before but this come on guys y'all could have gave us like a beauty blender with it like the beauty blender the the shampoo but if i had to compare the two bags right now i'm saying sephora's winning simply because that i had a quiz it asked about my skin type it asked about my lip likes and i have not got a lip a shiny lip gloss because i don't like lip gloss i know i'm being team petty and sorry but <laughs> last thing is my seasonal box from walmart this is five dollars you get it every season this i believe is the winter box because i got it in january so this should be the winter box so let's see what's inside of it First thing I see is the Curel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. So it's definitely during the winter, you definitely want to keep your skin moisturized. And this will definitely go to good use. The next thing I see is it says Hydro Heroes Rate and Review um, Earn a $100 gift card. So, yay. Next thing is from Soft Soap Earth Blends Body Wash. Nice size. This is definitely... When I travel, I could use this for my travel. Then I have an Olive Olay Hydro Daily Hydrating Cleaning Grape Seed Extract. 5-in-1 cleansing power with a makeup remover scrub, one dry cloth. So just add water. Oh, yeah, definitely want to try this. I think Emily Noel has talked about this. So I definitely want to try this. Next is the Friedman's gel, Water Gel Mask, Leave-On Mask. Yeah, I know for a fact these were like 150 at Walmart because I see them on the end caps. The next thing is a Garnier Fructis Damage Repair One Treat Mask. Now, the, the last box I got, I got the avocado one. So this one looks like it's papaya. Um, the avocado one, I can tell you, it was not enough to cover my whole hair. One, one of these, I had to kind of like stretch it. Um, but it treats one minute hair mask. It treats damage. But um, I'm... I'll try this one. I didn't see a huge difference with the other one. You apply it after you shampoo. It was like, eh, it was okay. Um, but I also did it after I taken my braids out. So I don't know if my hair just like sucked it up and I didn't notice a huge difference. But I'll definitely try that this week since I don't have braids in. And then I have Aveeno Positive Radiance. This is a Daily Shield uh, moisturizer with SPF. I feel like, I hate when I give you these, these full pamphlets. I'm sorry. I'm laughing at the thing in the bottom. Okay, Walmart, y'all wrong for this. <laughs> it's a little purse. It's like what Sephora didn't give you, Walmart gave you. <laughs> it's lined. It has the Walmart logo on it. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. You know, and then it has like little drop. I'm sorry, that's funny. Walmart can give you a little bag in their $5 subscription for seasonal box but Sephora can't come on now and look I just want to show y'all this okay FC and I'm, I'm literally they're sitting FC come on <laughs> though this is vinyl and this is cloth and they're both lined I'm just I'm 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 sorry I'm finding it funny I have Walmart is trying to compete y'all <laughs> But the, the Aveeno one, it does tell you um, it's a sheer hydration daily moisturizer. So you could definitely, I'll try this to see. I've got so many sample moisturizers. I don't have to buy a moisturizer for a while. But I definitely will give it a try. Overall, um, <laughs> I actually like the Walmart bag, box. It only cost $5. And this one, um, based off my test, I got the classic. So I'm pretty, I'm curious to see what the trendsetter is. Um, but I... Two masks. This is for your face. This is for your hair. Wash, daily wash for your body. A moisturizer. And then a very small. This would be on the lines of a. It could be a deluxe sample when the way that they make them. Of um, a moisturizer with a SPF. With the little purse. So you guys let me know which bag you thought was worth it. Was it the. $5 seasonal Walmart bag. Was it the $10 Etsy or the $10 Sephora bag? I am.
praying that all of us have an amazing 2019. That God blesses us with our health, with our finances, with our love life, and with everything that we touch, it is just prosperous and that it grows. Thank you again for watching my video. I will check you guys out on the next one.